Hey everyone, Joe here. Maybe a weird start to a moving vlog, but uh, I have to move in a major scale for the first time in my life. I've moved a couple of times, but it's always been my own personal belongings, never an entire household worth of stuff. <clears throat> and uh, you may wonder why you're under the hood of a car, and it's because the first thing I'm selling is a couple of my cars, and this one's not running. So, if we take a look, this fan... I don't, I don't think it's supposed to be like that, so I'm going to have to check that. And let's get going. Well, finally got the fan off, and uh, it's not doing so good. It had this metal clip here that I had to spin, I think, counterclockwise to get it to unlock, and then this came off. And man, the little hub from the motor or from the fan blade is actually still stuck on the spindle from the motor. So, oh boy, here we go. So the uh, fan still works. It's just this this blade completely gone. So hopefully I can just get myself a blade and save some money. Here's hoping. Well, it's day two, um, and if you saw the video from yesterday, then you saw uh, that that fan was basically completely destroyed. So I. Called around my local parts shops. Nobody has one uh, in stock. I have one on order. Should be here in the next few days, they said. So I'm just going to have to completely replace uh, the fan just outright. Uh, so today, I'm just going to work on uh, cleaning the car up and uh, getting the interior all ready because that thing's got to sell soon. And... And I gotta get the gate.
All right, so it's a couple of days later, and uh, the parts I ordered have come in. Uh, these are rear struts for the back here, because as you can see, I currently got that pole, a pair of uh, vice grips holding this thing up. So I think the first thing I'm gonna do is just swap these rear gas shocks out, and then I'll move on to the front, put the radiator fan in. This is actually stereo stuff. The factory radio up there has a crack in the screen and doesn't work. So, well, kind of works, but the CD player takes control all the time. So, I'm gonna go ahead and swap these out, and then I'll jump to the cut. See you there. If you've never swapped out gas struts before, first off, make sure you have something that's supporting it. I already did the other side. But there's these clips up here. You just take a small flathead screwdriver, go ahead and push it underneath the clip, and the clip will come up, and then that releases it from the ball. Just take the ball off. There you go. Go down to the bottom. Do the same thing. Just get your new shock. Make sure it's the same length as your old one. You want to do that before you remove it. And then to put these on, you just take the new one. You don't do anything with the clip. Point it at the ball and just squeeze. Go ahead and pop that one on. Go down to the bottom. Squeeze that on. And now if I did everything right, if I take this out, it should stay up. Here's hoping. So the next thing I'm gonna put in is the radiator pad. So the fan's in, plugged in. I already swapped the battery. I don't have any footage of that. I just did that because I, I needed to roll the windows up and down. Uh, let me go ahead and tighten that up now. That needs a different wrench for that, and I gotta find the hold down. I tightened uh, this one up, but I had to stop the camera because I could not find this for life. Oh, I finally got it. Let's slap it in there. Okay, I was about to start saying something, but sure. Anyway, shocks are in. They're holding the tailgate up. Let's go ahead and make sure that they also hold it. And close. I'm not going to show you all my license right there, but... Oh, yeah. Yeah, great. Perfect. Let's move inside. I was going to start talking about my, my busted radio here, but... I think the leg snapped off my tripod. Hmm. Anyway, this radio's been the bane of my existence. Uh, you might notice a small crack that may or may not have been due to some percussive maintenance. Um, since I got this car, you'll be driving along and the CD player takes over, even though there's no disc in it. And so even with a tape converter that I was using to plug into my phone, you could be driving along and then it would think you put a disc in. So, that's got to go, because I can't sell it like that. Well, finally got access to the stereo. Gotta take those four screws out, then the unit should pull out, and then I gotta make sure I got the right wiring adapter. Let's keep going. You might be able to hear it doing this thing. Yep. 
Time for that to go. I could disconnect the battery. I probably should disconnect the battery. So it means that I just plugged it in. And uh, this should all be on one cable. I should be fine. Cable. That's the antenna. Big ass unit. Cable I bought. The adapter. It looks right. Open it up, make sure. Perfect. That's the right adapter. That should go right into my new stereo. This is the adapter plate. It should go. Yeah, the cables are holding up a little bit. That goes there. Everything else will go right back over the top. However, it's hot. It's very hot. It's like 100 degrees today, so I think I'm done for now. See you all next time.